Avid Media Composer features an autosave setting. When Media Composer performs an autosave, it is saving copies of all the bins within a project. It does this by saving bin copies to a folder called the Avid Attic. The Avid Attic folder will allow you to recover older versions of bins. To do this, navigate to the top of the project window and click on the Settings tab. Then double click on the bin settings. The bin settings window will appear. This is where you tell Media Composer how often to autosave. Notice the default setting is set to autosave every 15 minutes. It's also in this window where you tell Media Composer how many versions of those bins to keep. Go ahead and make any necessary adjustments and click the OK button. Navigate back to the project window and click on the bins tab. The most important bin is the one that contains your sequence. It's really important that you keep your bins labeled within Media Composer. So if I double click on this sequences bin, you can see there is a sequence inside. If a bin is accidentally deleted or you need to recover an earlier version of a bin, you can find older copies in the Avid Attic folder. The easiest way to find the Avid Attic folder is to do a quick keyword search on your internal drive. If you are on a Mac, hold down the command key and press the space bar. Type the keyword Attic within the Spotlight search box. Press the return key to open the Avid Attic folder. Within the Avid Attic folder, you will see a list of Avid project folders. Inside each project folder, you will see a list of all the bins. Click on one of the bins that you would like to recover. The most likely candidate would be the bin that contains your sequence. In this example, I have 23 different saved versions of the sequences bin. Next, you must either copy or move the bin outside the Avid Attic folder. So, I'll grab the last saved version and move it to the desktop. After you have moved or copied the bin you want to recover from the Avid Attic folder, you can reopen it within Avid Media Composer. But before you can do this, you must make sure any previous versions of that bin are closed, otherwise you will get an error. Next, navigate to the File menu and choose Open Bin. It's important that you change this Enable Pull-Down menu to Any. Otherwise, you will not be able to open the bin. Then you'll be able to select the bin that you've copied to the desktop in order to open it. This bin will now appear within the project window and it will be located within a folder called Other Bins. There you go, now you've recovered an earlier version of the bin.